thing, let me do my thing. I mean, do your thing, let me do my thing. Move that thing, let me move that thing. We're here in Denver, Colorado for what should be another exciting game. There'll be plenty of long sleeves and hand warmers in abundance tonight as the Raiders come into town to face the Broncos. EA Sports is proud to present more NFL action. I'm Al Michaels along with my partner John Madden. This defense has been watching extra film all week because they're facing a dangerous duel and it starts with this guy. He'll make throws that no other quarterback would ever think about making. I think the guy's covered, and boom, he fires one in between two defenders for a touchdown. The Raiders have a few receivers that he likes to throw to, and here's one of them. There's no question these two have developed that chemistry, and he's always finding an open spot on the defense to give his quarterback a target to hit. It wouldn't be surprising to see them hook up a few times in this one. Wow, look at those guys down there. They're practically knocking each other out. And let's go to the field for the coin toss. They're lined up for the kickoff. So let's pick up the action. Turner will be kicking off. He's lined up for the kickoff. Number 20 back to return. He got all of that one. He downs it in the end zone. No return this time, and the offense heads out into the field, taking over at the 20. Hey. Throwing on first down. Pressure coming. Flings it to the outside. The 30 breaks the tackle. <laughs> Well, he's shaken up after that play, and we'll get you a report from the sideline when we get the information. Keep the defense guessing. Don't forget to use misdirection and play action to keep them off balance on passing down. Stable sets up. Pass play here on first down. Trying to buy some time. He's looking. Gets rid of it. This one falls incomplete. John, each team has a lot of weapons, and we expect to see a lot of scoring in this one. Yeah, they sure do, but you need two things for a good offense. Lots of talent and smart coaches that know how to direct it. Both these teams have that. Davis was stuffed on that play, John. They're just relentless when the offense decides to run the ball. They break down blocks very quickly, and they do a good job maintaining their gap assignments, limiting cutback opportunities. Using motion. Closing in with the pass. Loses one tackle. And he's pushed out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Now this is one heck of a play. Look at it. You're in a hole here on third down. And they come through with this perfect play that gets him a first and keeps the drive going. Man in motion. Again with the carry. He shakes the defender. He'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. Get some time in the pocket and be patient with it. Don't force it into cover. Dropping back the pass on first down. Looking downfield, a long pass over the middle. And it's intercepted. Number 21 makes a spectacular defensive grab. That's the type of play that will really give the defense some momentum when they come back on the field. Armstrong lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Hands it off to the back. Hits the goal, picks up four, maybe five there. This defense will stop him for sure.
The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Tosses it right. Missed. The halfback gets the toss, picks up about two. Bring the pay. Hit him Look at the call. Number 60. Created problems in the backfield on that play. Time to call a special teams play. So they line up the punt after going three and out. Here's the punt. Could be a dangerous one. His blocks are set up. Look at that power. He had an outstanding return. Sometimes as a coverage team, it's easy to over-pursue. And if you do that, you end up running right by the guy you're supposed to be tackling. Stay get set. Pressure. He got to him just as he released the ball. The Broncos. Well, he's shaken up after that play, and we'll get you a report from the sideline when we get the information. A smart coach would call this play. So they have first and ten here. Ball on their own 41. Set. Hook out right. Hook. Yeah. Hook. Is that all you got? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Hook. Stay after. Uh -huh. Let's go. Come on. Uh -huh. Hook. Throwing on first down. Throwing. He lost it. The Broncos hit it. That was a lucky bounce. Yeah. He picked up the trash. Oakland going to a prevent defense here as they back up the safeties and corners. Gets the pass off, and it's complete. Good play in that pass. If he can make catches like that regularly, he can expect to see more passes thrown in his direction. Melissa, what have you heard down there? I'm told that it's a very serious injury, Al. They're planning to run some additional tests, but there's a good chance that he's seen his last action of the season. A very tough blow to this team. Thanks, Melissa. With the pass, and he ducks out of bounds at the 32-yard line. This is a good special teams play. Back to the field. Offense couldn't get it done, and they'll line up to punt. Here's the kick. The return is setting up nicely, and he has room to run with it. Now here it is. He shows a lot of determination in getting to the ball carry on this one. Look at how he fights off the blocker, and he makes a heck of a play to bring him down. Going to the air on first down. Throws it. He hits his receiver. They went with a screen pass on that play. And the defense was waiting to pounce on it. Second and long coming up here. Denver's looking for the pass as they line up with seven defensive backs. Looking for a receiver. And he's tackled at the 33-yard line. You need a nice pickup here. Make sure he's deep enough before you throw it. Set. It's great. Number third goes in motion. Under pressure, surveying the field, rolling out to his right. Gets rid of it. Incomplete. Right out up and not that pass away. He has to do a better job of looking off the coverage before he makes a throw like that. Set. Unable to get anything going on that series. We'll have to punt it away here. Here's the punt. They'll spot this one where it went out. You should stop him with this play. Is it right? Armstrong wasn't able to get anything going on that one. 
They got there and shut that play down very quickly. That's just a case of studying game film this week paying off. When you know what they like to run in certain situations, you can anticipate the play call and stop the play before it even gets started. Armstrong didn't get any help from his offensive line. It was just about impossible to run when you have guys in the backfield just as soon as you snap the ball. Oakland is trying to prevent anything long here and backs up the corners and safeties. Throws it. Looking for leverage. Pushes off. Watch it here. This is a great call on third down to keep this drive alive. They were in a tough spot here. But this is a heck of a throw and catch to pick up that first down. Here come the heat. Back on TV. Number 25. In motion. Just give it all you got. They'll play things tighter on the outside. Armstrong. Hendrick stops the play in the backfield. They went backward on that one. They ran right into the blitz. They should have changed the play at the line. Maybe an audible to a sweep or a pass play. Something like a quick slant. Hand off to the tailback. He was met right at the line. Might have even lost a little. That was a case of the defense getting under the pads of the offensive line. Usually the team that gets the best leverage is going to control the line of scrimmage. When you run it into the middle, you have to have some push or movement up front. If you can't get that movement, it makes things very difficult for your running back. Dropping back. Fires it out to the right. And he makes the grab. Number 25. Continues to be a reliable target. That's his third catch of the game. Number 10, he's trying to pin their offense inside the five. Here's the punt. And so the punt goes out of bounds. Be aware of the pressure here. If you feel the heat, you got to make quick decisions. Just make sure they're good ones. Set. Man in motion. Going to the air on first down. The throw. After hauling in that pass, he now has three in the game. Scan the defense quickly here. If nothing's open downfield. Get rid of it by passing it to one of your backs. The defense on both sides dominant so far as the first quarter comes to an end. No score. The teams has switched sides and will start the second quarter. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Set. Bring the pain. Stabler sends a man in motion. Davis. Pressure coming. Throws it. And it's complete. The 40. And he's forced out of bounds at the 45 yard line. An incredible play. Everyone was on the same page on that pass play. It seemed like the receiver ran out of gas. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 45. Calling an audible now. Ball on the 45 yard line. Davis. Watch here as he's able to avoid the blocker and get in there and make the tackle. Well, that's how you're supposed to play. Don't stop. Keep going until you reach the ball carrier. Set. Directing traffic. Dropping back, hand it off to the back. The back picks up about two on that carry. This is a play that you need. Trust your quarterback to make a good throw here. And this is the fifth play of this drive. Closing in with the throw. He hits his receiver. Number 30 made a terrific catch. Practicing a play again and again makes it look easy when they run it in game situations. Set. Hit him low. Tied her up. Stable. Sends a man in motion. Going to the left. Breaks free. So on the blitz, they can't get to the ball carrier until it's too late. And when you're blitzing to stop the run, the idea is bringing more guys and the offense can block. We also got to cut off the lanes and gaps that he can use 
to escape out of the backfield. That just didn't happen here. He sees something in the defense. Man in motion. They'll go with the run once again. Gain of two. Scan the defense quickly here. If nothing's open downfield, get rid of it by passing it to one of your backs. The Raiders using motion. Pressure. He surveys the field, buying time with the throw. He hits his receiver. The quarterback is able to find him again, and that's his fifth reception. It's third down, and they have a long way to go. And here's what they've been able to do so far on third down. Third down is when you want your players to dig deep and make a clutch play. When you convert, it gives your defense a little extra rest, and it gives your offense a fresh set of downs to work with. Rowe runs over the tackle. They'll move the sticks with that completion. I'll tell you, he puts that one right on the money. They're just out there playing a little pitch and catch. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Man in motion. He hands it off. A lot of room to work with. He's inside the tent. Touchdown, Oakland. And he takes it in for the score. I didn't think he was going to get one. The next thing you know, boom, he's in the end zone. Number 14 comes in to attempt the point after. And it's up. The extra point attempt is good. Just what they were looking for, John. Good play calling there. Key drive. Touchdown. I think the whole team's happy after that one. They're probably telling their defense to give them the ball back so they can go score again. And he got all of that one. A great kick. He downs it in the end zone. No return this time, and the offense heads out into the field, taking over at the 20. Morton gets set. Hand off to the tailback. Loss of about one. Armstrong, the deep man. Only a yard by the halfback. Oakland doesn't want a long pass over anybody's head here, so they back up the secondary. On the one. Good looking play there as they pick up the first down and keep the drive alive. They'll go from the I formation. It's the toss to the left. Gain of about five. Give this a shot. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 39. Uh, Only one man back. They'll go with a play fake. It's run of it. He recognizes the blitz and gets the ball out for a first down. Yeah, he saw a good matchup. He made a heck of a throw to get the ball to his receiver. Try this play. it off about a two-yard gain here throws it mark doing an excellent job on this drive things are really slowing down for him right now he's seeing the coverage and finding the open man with ease He's really in some kind of rhythm out there. Yep, now. Uh, right was right there, stopping the play for a loss. I'll tell you, that comes from watching a lot of fun and knowing the tendencies of the opponent. That was a heck of a play. Armstrong, under pressure, gets the pass off. 
John, I don't know how they didn't pick that one off. You know, he didn't pick it off, but at least he didn't let the receiver make the catch either. Still a pretty good effort. Oakland backs its secondary off the line to be in a better position to defend the deep pass. With the throw, behind him, he has it. That'll move the chains, John. Yeah, when you put together a great pass with a heck of a catch, that's exactly what you're going to get. With the pass, and he hits his target. And they're making it look easy out there. Their fifth first down of the drum. And the key out there has been great play calling and even better execution. They mixed it up well, and the defense has been on their heels this whole drive. With the carry, floats one into the end zone. Almost picked it off in the end zone. Yeah, and if he could have come up with that one, not only does it take away the scoring threat, but it gets the ball back for your offense. Morton sets up, using motion. Pressure coming. Swap lob to the end zone. Trying to get it in for six, but couldn't. Third down. Only one man back. Drop back. Drop. And he's Bring the pain. Looks to the end zone. The pass is picked off. Pass off. Huge play to pick that ball off in the end zone. Not only is that guy taking the ball away, he's taking possible points away. Time to give it to your half that. Tell him to look for a hole to open up inside. The offense gets ready to go following the interception. Man in motion. Cross play to the left. The halfback gets the toss, picks up about two. Keep it on the ground here. No need for a turnover at this point. Changing the play now. Yeah, 74. Come on, partner. Stay out. Give it all you got. Three, Hit him five. Four, dog, under. Is that all you got? Is that all you got? Casper in motion. Hand it off. Just keep giving them the ball. On a third and short situation like this, the defense has to be ready for anything. It's third down and a yard. Ball on their own 22. Third and one. Ball on the 22-yard line. Using motion. Running left. Denver calls a timeout. They have two remaining. Cut it away. So three and out, and they'll line up to punt. Here's the kick. That one slips right through his hand. The Broncos are there to pick up the ball. They got to have good clock management if they want to get some points in this drive. And if they can get some, it'll be a big help for them going into half. Start the drive at the 43 yard line. Closing in. It's rid of it. The catch on the run. Number 88 is the recipient on that one. His third reception of the game. The Raiders line up in the quarter defense, giving some cushion on the outside. Morton gets set. Drops back with the pass. The 40. He was able to hit his target, picking up the first in the process. That's a case of your receiver knowing where the marker is and the quarterback delivering the pass quickly. One thing as a defender you want to avoid is trying to take a gamble for a turnover and then giving up a big play that lets them get points before the half. Going to the 
the air on first down. With the throw, hits him in stride. Number 88. Continues to perform well, and that gives him five catches in the game. I like to hurry up here. It's a change of pace, and it's a way to get the defense uncomfortable. Gets rid of it. Good throw. It's on the ground. The Broncos get it. They'll go no huddle here. It's the end of the second quarter with the score. Oakland, 7. Denver, 0. We'll go back to the play on the field. We're ready to start the second half of play. And the kickoff team comes out onto the field. Should be a return here. Lays into him with a stiff arm. Denver heads out onto the field, trailing by a touchdown. Well, John, we figured we'd have a tight game, but I really expected a better play offensively in this one. Yeah, it's always a little funny to see a game with two great offenses turn into a defensive struggle. The late nights watching film is really paying off. Armstrong, throwing. Not much touch on that pass. May have tried to put a little too much oomph on that throw. They line up in the I formation. On the 25-yard line. Gets the toss to the left. And he's tackled behind the line by Hendricks. You may want to dump that play, John. You know, that's what this defense will do to you. They're so good in pursuit that if you start trying to go east and west in the backfield, you're in trouble. I'd try and run the ball right at him. That'll negate the speed that these guys have to the outside. Oakland backs its secondary off the line to be in better position to defend the deep pass. Throws it. This pass is incomplete. Number 25. Drop the ball. And if he's dropping passes, who's the quarterback going to go to next? One drop doesn't mean that you should stop going to him. If you have a guy that you're comfortable with, you got to go to him. Even guys like Terrell Owens will drop one every now and then. So the lineup to punt after going three and out. Here's the punt. He's waving for the fair catch. There was no need to try and return that one. But he made the right decision there. First and ten. Ball on their own 34. The Raiders line up in the bunch for the game. Gain of a couple on that carry. Spread the ball around and make sure the defense knows that they have to cover every receiver. The Broncos come out with three down linemen and seven defensive backs. Set! Come on, heel! Ain't got nothing! Drop, drop! Give it all you got, D! Come on! Give it all you got! Huh? With the throw, it's his receiver in stride. Perfect pass, great catch, and that'll move the chain. Tell your line to protect here. Tell your line to protect every play, not just here. You need to get some time back there and let someone get open. Casper moves in motion. Crosses it out to the left. And he's brought down at the 50. The key here is to step up into the pocket. Make sure you get those feet set before you throw it. Set. Hut. You'll see. Hut. Drops back. Scrambling. Pressure. He surveys the field. Gives this one a ride to the left. Almost got it. Close to a big play by the defense. And it probably should have been a big play. He had perfect position to get the interception. He just dropped it. Fifth play of this drop. Under pressure. Good play in the backfield by number 77. A smart coach who punts the ball here. is the deep return man. Here's the kick. He has it with some open field. 
Nice moves on that big punt return. Sometimes all it takes is making the first guy miss, finding some room, and then just turning on the speed. Hand it off to the back. One yard gain by the running back. This play might work. Second and nine coming up here. to the left. Armstrong couldn't pick up any blocking on that play. The defense is always very aggressive when defending the run. They're extremely disciplined. They get off their blocks very quickly. Makes it tough to find openings when you're running the ball. Oakland drops its safeties into deeper coverage to be more prepared for the long pass. Throwing. Incomplete pass. He let that one loose, but overthrows his receiver. He has to learn to take a little bit off it sometimes. You don't want to try and guide it in there or put it up for grabs, but you also need to give your guy a chance to catch the ball. Unable to get anything going on that series, they'll have to punt it away here. Here's the punt. Get some time in the pocket and be patient with it. Don't force it into coverage. Stay with Get set. He'll pass on first down. Gets rid of it. Makes the adjustment. Just won't go down. And he's ridden out at the 33. Amazing play by Casper. And that's the type of thing that can happen when you get this guy the ball. He's going to move the ball, and he's going to move it with speed. Pass play here on first down, throws it, and he makes the grab. Can't bring him down. That play was executed to perfection. And when we were watching them in practice, they were running this play. That's almost one of those Sandlot type of deals where you go long and I'll get it to you. Davis in the backfield. Ball on the 44 yard line. Throwing on first down. Pressure coming. Looking downfield. Scrambling. Got to him as he throws. Not wanting to take a sack or force the issue. He throws that one way out of bounds. Denver comes out in the dime package. Set. With the pass. Incomplete pass. Go for the long pass. See if you can beat him deep. Here is a third and long situation. Ball on the 44-yard line. Stabler goes to work with an empty backfield. Throwing. Catch. Gain of seven. You better kick it here. Only one man in the backfield. Looks like he's calling an audible. Number 49. Moves in motion. Dropping back. Closing in. Stepping up. So they'll lose yardage on that tackle. Look here. This is not what a quarterback is supposed to do on fourth down. It's your last shot. You're going for it. At least throw it up there and give your guy a shot. A sack is definitely not what you're looking for here. Crosses it left. Five-yard pickup on that run by the tailback. Try this play. About four to go. Ball on their own 47. Get the ball. The Broncos using motion. On the 47-yard line. Armstrong. And the halfback picks up about three. The backs are lined up in an eye. Ball on the 49 yard line. Get at him, Pete. Is that all you got? Huh? 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 We get the call again. 
A very well drawn up play. It was well executed. They hit their blocks in the back foul in the right hole to get down the field and pick up a first down. Buster's grill deep. First and ten. Ball on the 41 yard. Again with the run. Gain of about one. Giving some cushion on the outside. Dropping back. With the throw. Incomplete pass. He just couldn't hold on to that pass. He has the hands to make catches on the toughest passes. I'm a little surprised to see him drop that one. Oakland doesn't want a long pass over anybody's head here, so they back up the secondary. Drops back. Steps up. Gets the pass off. Number 25 was there to make the catch for the first game. He's glad he made that catch. I'm sure the quarterback will look his way again when he needs another first down. Here come the heat. Side line, side line. Gets the call. Gain of about five. This defense looks good. They need five. Man in motion. Ball on the 19-yard line. Gain of two. Number 24 on the run. Gain of two on the play. Third and three. Ball on the 17-yard line. 94! Morton gets set. Looking to run it here. Armstrong just squeaks by the first down marker. Give this one a shot. So we've reached the end of the third quarter with the Raiders ahead of the Broncos 7 0. And we'll start the fourth quarter. First and 10. Set. Here come the heat. Get the ball. Passing on first down. Pressure rolling. And the catch is made. Touchdown, Broncos. Time to call the special teams play. The kicker lines up for the point after. And it's on its way. And the extra point is good. Well, you can't ask for much more out of a drive that gets you into the end zone. The thing that most impressed me about that last drive was the offensive line. They did a good job controlling the line of scrimmage, keeping their quarterback healthy and on his feet. A strong offensive line is the first and most important component to an effective offense. The 40, the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Raiders. What a dazzling return as he continues to do his part out of the field. Yeah, special teams that produce touchdowns are part of that championship formula. Oakland will call a timeout here. They have two timeouts left. A very chancy call here as they'll give up the opportunity for the one and instead go for the two and make it an eight-point game. With the pass, the pass falls incomplete. Well, that's one way to electrify your team, score before the offense can even take the field. This is why your return guy is so important in every game. At no time at all, you can go from losing to winning with one big run back. It also seems to fire up the rest of the guys when your special teams get you some points. From the one-yard line. They moved the ball very effectively on that last drive, which ended in a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sidelines, trying obviously to make some corrections, and let's see if they can stop them this time. They line up in the eye formation. Crosses it out to the left. Armstrong couldn't find an opening and was brought down very quickly. Yeah, he was. This line has to do a better job of holding up at the point of attack. He has a fast first step. And he can explode through the hole. But he needs a line to create that little crease. To cut that line to break free. The back picks up about two on that carry. Here is a third and long situation. Here are the numbers when it comes to third down conversions. Third down conversions is a keeper stat. When you convert on third down, you keep three things. You keep your drive going, 
You keep their defense on the field, and you keep your defense resting on the sideline. Offense couldn't get it done in the lineup to punt. Here's the kick. From the 29. Still running. Steam rolls the defender. So he was brought down before he had a chance to get anything going. Good job by both teams here. He gets his team a few yards closer to the end zone, and the coverage team prevents him from getting anything big. Stabler. See something in the defense. Davis. The defender brings him down at the 39. He might want to drop back a little deeper on this play. Step up in the pocket and let her fly. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 39. The offense lines up with split backs behind the quarterback. Ball on the 39-yard line. Scramble. Under pressure. Surveying the field. Gets rid of it. Hits his receiver in stride. Gain of four. Need a good release on this pass. Keep this drive moving. Pressure coming, looking for an option. Throws it, with the catch on the run. He was stopped short of the marker and can't convert. You know, when it's third and so many yards, why the heck would you run a pass pattern that was short of the first? Makes no sense to me. Stable. See something in the defense. Using motion. He'll get it again. Excellent run for a first down. They brought some extra heat with a blitz. He was able to find some room and pick up the first. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Closing in. He's looking. Gets the pass off. This one falls incomplete. Watch where there's movement up front. Look for the hole and send your man into the secondary. On the 45 yard line. Got nothing. Set. Start with the run. Breaking through. The 30. Davis has shown why he's such a threat on the ground and gets closer to 100 yards rushing. It's first and 10. Ball on the 22 yard line. Denver comes out in a dime package. Hit a blow. Man in motion. Come on, D up. That all you got. Penalty marker down. Red ball. Play a game. On the offense. The offense practices that play every day. Obviously, that guy needed to show more discipline than that out there. Seventh play of this drive. Looking downfield. It's a fumble. The Broncos. I'm on the fumble. Trying to do too much and ends up turning it over. Right, so we have first and ten here. Using motion. First and ten. Armstrong. One yard gain by the running back. Heck, this is a good one to call. Backing off. Oakland lines up with seven guys in the second. Four, maybe five yards on that carry. The Raiders come out of the quarter defense. Ball on the 36-yard line. Stay after him. Morton gets set. Pressure, throws it, and he slips out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Call this defense here. First and ten. Ball on their own 48. Crosses it right. He's taken down in the backfield by Johnson. They're not just going to give up on the run, no matter how ineffective it is. The 
corners are giving a bit of a cushion. Throws over to his right. Right to him. Great play there by number 25. The thing is, he got some separation there, and he was able to get him a big chunk of yard. He adds that big run to his total, and the defense has been having a very difficult time bringing him down. Toss play to the left. Bumbo. It's scooped up. Great play by the defense to recover the fumble. Yeah, they were right there to jump on the ball. This might be a good challenge by the coach. The call on the field is questionable. They're going to review it, and this one might get reversed. So what we're looking for here is whether one of his knees hit the ground before the ball came out. And sometimes it's hard for the official because there can be a whole bunch of bodies around the ball carrier, and he can't get a good enough view to overturn it. And that challenge was a good decision as the call is overturned. Well, sometimes the official sees what you see, and sometimes he sees something else. But this time, everyone could see the call had to be changed. Armstrong. Gain of nine on the play. And they find themselves in scoring range. The corners playing back. Morton sets up, drops back, gets the pass off, incomplete pass. Pretty good pass, but that's incomplete. You just hate to see that kind of thing happen. You're trying to get some momentum going, or keeping your momentum going, then your guy drops a catchable ball to bring up fourth down. The corners are giving a bit of a cushion. Dropping back, stepping up, flings it to the outside. You should stop it with this play. Cross play to the left. Kept it on the ground, picks up about seven. Yeah, this is a good one to call. Second and maybe three. Ball on the six yard line. Give it all you got, D. Come on. Huh? It's really been getting stopped inside the red zone so far. <laughs> about a one yard loss. Two minutes to go. Oakland will call a timeout here. They have one remaining. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the eight-yard line. Giving some cushion on the outside. Third and five. Ball on the eight-yard line. Rowing. Incomplete. And so we come up to a very crucial fourth down play. The defense has been able to keep him from getting past the marker so far. They need to do it one more time. And if they don't, we're looking at a heck of a finish. Cowboy! Drops back. With the pass. This one falls incomplete. Time to give it to your halfback. Tell him to look for a hole to open up inside. They line up in the I formation. He sees something in the defense. Denver calls a timeout. That's their first. Looks like there's room to the outside. Just make sure you keep it inbound so the clock keeps on ticking. Casper, the man in motion. And he stopped at the 11. I'm guessing this should be a run. The defense can't be lollygagging around, because if they are and they give up a first, this one's over. Dimebacks in for this play. Set. Under pressure, looking downfield with the throw. Incomplete. He just overthrew that one. I wonder if that one slipped out of his hand. It was clearly off target. So they'll get ready to punt and leave it to their defense to finish the game and get them the win. Here's the punt. First and ten. The corners playing off a bit. Air on first down. Gets the pass off. That incomplete pass brings up second down. 
The defense doing everything they can to keep this last drive out of the end zone. Giving some cushion on the outside. Dropping back. Guns it to the right side. And he goes out of bounds. At the 40-yard line. This defense will stop him for sure. Down. Drill. Incomplete. The pass ball's incomplete. The defense can put this one to rest if they can make a play or two. They did pretty well on first down, so let's see if they can force a third down here. Throws it. Incomplete. The incomplete pass brings up third down. They need to get a big chunk of yardage here. An incomplete would make things real tough when they need to keep this drive alive. Let's go, come on! Armstrong, the long setback. Ball on the 40-yard line. Pressure coming. Rowan, he finds his man. He did a good job hurting for the first right there. The receiver did a good job of getting open enough just to toss it in there. Here's a no huddle. It's a good way to keep the defense off balance. Closing in. Gets the pass off. The pass ball's incomplete. On second down, they figure to go to the air as they try to get closer to the end zone. Morton sends a man in motion. He drops back. With the pass, breaks free of the defender. That's three times on this drive they've been able to pick up a first down. Yeah, and the thing is, they'll be doing more than just picking up first downs if this success continues. They're going to be picking up some points. Rowing. Turns. He has it. And he's brought down at the one-yard line. They're going to keep it moving here. They're heading straight to the line. Drop back. Drop. Bring the pay. This team just seems to lose momentum and confidence when they get near the goal line. A smart coach would call this play. Third down now and goal to go. The defense is going to play this one very tight. Number 88 moves in motion. Armstrong. They'll go with a play fake. Fires for the end zone. An incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. They go for it and don't make it. That was a conversion the offense needed. They have to be disappointed, and it's worse because now the other team has the ball. Looking to end the game, they'll probably call a simple run play here. And off to the tailback. And he's brought down at the six. We're nearing the end here, and they figure to go with a running play to keep this clock winding down. And there's a flag on the play. Good ball. Play a game. Play an offense. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own three. Set. There's the final gun. The final score is Oakland 13, Denver 7. Denver 7. This is Al Michaels with John Madden saying goodbye for EA Sports. Hey, 
wins the horse trailer player of the game award.